So I think that um, the main danger, there's kind of a couple dangers that are facing the media in the US right now. One is a sort of ongoing backdrop of financial distress and the fact that Facebook, Google, the internet took away all the most of the advertising revenue. So we're finding around the country that there's really a dearth of local news now. And so we have what we call news deserts where there's no longer local reporting on community affairs, the school boards, the local police situation, investigative reporting, so all of that has been in decline for a while, and it's a real problem if we believe that media is very important for democracy and is that accountability reporting is a social good and a public good. So that's one level of problem. The second more direct threat has been the election of President Trump with his threats again, his constant drumbeat of threats against the media, his sort of use of this term fake news that demonizes anybody that believes in evidence, that believes in science, that believes in reasoned thinking and analytical thinking about problems. And then also the, you know, the physical threats as well. This is talking about beating up journalists and lauding people that have done that. So it's a really um, you know, dangerous time for the media in the U.S. The Committee to Protect Journalists has actually done their first mission to the United States. They've really beefed up uh, their sort of monitoring of the situation here. And that climate of sort of intolerance and hatred is extremely dangerous. So, so it's certainly a, a moment of, of, of fear and danger. At the same time, what it's done has, is make journalists more determined. So we're seeing fantastic reporting and investigative reporting, a lot of reporting about the corruption, about the uh, terrible laws that are being put in place, about the conflicts of interest. And this um, has helped sort of mainstream media, I think, gain some credibility. So the New York Times has far more readers than it did before. The problem, of course, is that our media climate is very fragmented. So many of these people who should be reading this fantastic reporting aren't necessarily doing so and may not be affected by it. Uh, another whole thing to worry about, um, I'm just reading the new book by Yochai Benkler from the Harvard Law School and his colleagues, which is called Network Propaganda. And that talks about how a lot of the lies and disinformation on the far right, you know, put out by people, Bannon, Breitbart, all of this, Daily Caller, ended up sort of getting onto Fox News and then ending up in the mainstream media. So the sort of threat that we're facing from disinformation um, and the role of the media kind of inadvertently amplifying it is definitely a huge problem as well. Mm -hmm.